How is PSD2 looking to tackle fraud? So PSD2 is trying to tackle fraud in a number of ways. So the first way is to introduce something called strong customer authentication. Strong customer authentication is something that we're familiar with today in large parts of Europe, um, but it's all managed in a different way. Two-factor authentication is typically what I would associate with strong customer authentication. And that is an inheritance factor, so it could be a biometric. And biometrics is something we've become much more familiar with these days. Um, if I think back five years, using your fingerprint to authenticate yourself through mobile banking was something that was quite rare. Now it's much more common. Then there's something that you know, and something like a passcode or a passphrase. Um, something that is secret to you. And the last factor you can use is something you have, like a device. So some banks issue pin sentry uh, token devices that you can use to authenticate yourself. So that's strong customer authentication. The other element is what we call transaction risk analysis, TRA, um, abbreviated. And that's around having the ability to profile transactions and account events to be able to decide when to use strong customer authentication. Mm -hmm.